Shit, you clawed. Wait, Witcher! When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A rag doll. Uh-huh. What are you looking at? Oh, oh, right left. Left. Oh, Wait, Wait, the work my man's got, eh? Not half bad. Brought him a bucket of peelings yesterday. <laughs> Their horses whip like an Elvi Rad whore. Present the pass if you want to cross. This way, you mean? Let me look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, missing a seal, the red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense for Cotton King. They're really off their heads these days. It happens, so be it. You may come through. Come through.
Brother said I'd find her here. Voitax sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine, and now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him, then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at Mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. Finally we'd had enough, Mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands, and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that... that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her, she fell, that's how it started. We were alone, no one to help, blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry, must have been hard. For you both. Mum was in shock. She was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. She must have had a fever. She was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? Said she'd sooner cut open her gut than bear another child from his seed. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the eternal fire? Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I 
idea you're good at tracking things down. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity. Stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. Where are you going to take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. You didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck.
I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Oh, God, I hoped, despite all. Of Anna. Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! So long. Maybe I should send me man to the creek. I might catch something. Get here. Whip like an LV rat whore. You surprised?
approach. The rats, why did he need them? Lady rodents? Better to have stuffed them with a poison or crush them. Quite a start. Brene, the mage, says, bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat drags in. There's the lamp from the elf's hideout. And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Any news of your sisters from the lodge? None. We can't know too much about one another these days. It's safer that way. Even tried to contact one another? I've wanted to many times. But I've no way of knowing who would answer, or who might be listening. So, bet you saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Admiring the unspoiled scenery, or is it furthering the age-old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No, I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world, don't you see what's happening? You mean the persecution mages now face? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime, pursuing anyone with a whiff of magic about them. Witch hunters. Sound familiar? Murderers scouring the north from end to end, burning books, hanging soothsayers, torturing herbalists. Changing the subject. Bet the old witch who lived here left you a bunch of interesting sundries. She did indeed. I gather you'd like a look. Very much so. something from me. I did, and still do. The cursed isle on Lake Windama, you've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How did it come to be cursed? 
That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. I've gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Vserav, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. So the peasants who went to the island for food, this lord had them murdered? The villagers say he had them poisoned. A real gentleman. Hmm. Why well, I never met him. But he certainly didn't seem such a cruel man, judging by what a mage from the isle told me. A mage lived on the island? Did you know him? Where is he now? We were friends. Sadly, he died that day as well. Very few survived. Yet even those who escaped the isle soon suffered agonizing deaths. Strangely, they did not seem to have been poisoned. Why are you so intent on this? I'm not. The local peasantry is. The Isle, miss. You've got to lift the charm. You're a good witch, a great witch. There's no end to it. Uh -huh. See, I thought you didn't care for the locals. The great witch you are. I failed to lift the curse, and they could conclude I'm not so great. Not enough to conceal me from the witch hunters and risk getting sent to the gallows themselves. What others think. Your image. That's all you care about. The point is, listen. I didn't flee to these wilds just to stupidly get caught because some boar with grit under his fingernails grows annoyed with me. All right, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fike Isle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how, but they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course. Provided you take my magic lamp with you, I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. Can't you just come with me? I tried to go to Fikaia once. Thought my head would burst, the curse's magic was so strong. Nice of you to send me there. I experienced an acute nasal hemorrhage. You stand to endure a wobble of your medallion at most. At Aratusa, they trained me to detect even the subtlest magic pulses. This was like getting smacked across my haunches with a grain flail. Funny. Thought you'd go in for that sort of thing. Take my boat. I left it on the lake shore near the village. Should be fit to use. Provided rot hasn't eaten it, as it seems to eat everything here. How's the lamp actually work? Do I just rub it, or do I have to do something, um, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenobox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. Never heard of a Xenovox. It works just like a Megascope, but is far more portable. Think of it as a magic box that talks. They are hard to build. Extremely. That's why they're so rare. I certainly can build anything like it. So no chance these Xenovoxes will catch on with every mage using one? Not the slightest. So, where'd you get the Xenovox? Found it in the mine along with the lamp. Thought it was part of the lamp at first. Didn't realize what I'd actually found until later. Think it belonged to the Elven Mage? Clearly. And I didn't even know the Elves used them. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Phi Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. Mm -hmm. Thank you.